Hello and welcome to a very exciting video by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. Today it is my pleasure to announce that a brand new Raspberry Pi has just been released. With a 1GHz processor, 512MB of RAM, and a price of just £4, you can all say hello to the new Raspberry Pi Zero. Yes, you did indeed hear me correctly. Everyone can now buy a fully-fledged computer for just £4, or $5. The Raspberry Pi Zero is designed to be a stripped-down, bare-necessities machine that still retains the core functionality of its older Raspberry Pi family, the Raspberry Pi 2, B+, A+, etc. And with that in mind, let's take a closer look at the brand new Zero. So the Raspberry Pi Zero comes in a slender form factor that measures 65 by 30 by 5 millimeters. The board itself weighs in at just 9 grams as well. Don't be fooled however, as this truly miniature package squeezes in a serious amount of computing power too. At the heart of the new board, you'll find the same processor that features in the previous generation of Raspberry Pi computers. This is of course the single core BCM2835, but with a slight twist. For the Zero, the clock speed has been set to a mighty 1 GHz, and this means it is a whole 40% faster than the original Raspberry Pi. Whilst this is not the quad-core found in the Raspberry Pi 2, it is more than enough power for this $5 PC. To accompany the beefed-up CPU, you'll find 512MB of RAM. All in all, this causes performance to be three times faster than the Raspberry Pi 1. Moving on to the supplied interfaces. The Raspberry Pi Zero, as with every current Raspberry Pi, uses a micro SD card to store the operating system. In terms of the OS, the Zero will function with Raspbian and all existing software. If you move to the bottom of the board, you'll see some connectors that have not been seen before. In order to maximize available space, the HDMI port is now a mini HDMI port. This has no effect on the output capability of the Raspberry Pi Zero. It is still capable of full 1080p high definition video. Two micro USB ports can be found also. One of these is labeled power and funnily enough is the five volt power input to the Zero. Powering this new board is exactly the same as with the Model B and is best done from a mobile phone charger. Due to its insane form factor and impressive efficiency, the Raspberry Pi Zero consumes just 160 milliamps of power when running. The other micro USB port is a single USB out, similar to the Raspberry Pi A+. This can be used for plugging in a keyboard, mouse, Wi-Fi dongle, etc. As with the mini HDMI port, you can just use the supplied miniature connectors on the board, or I would personally recommend buying inexpensive adapters which allow you to use full-size HDMI cables and full-size USB devices. That's it in terms of supplied interfaces, however the Raspberry Pi Zero does also feature an unpopulated GPIO header with exactly the same layout as all the other models of Pi. The choice of whether you want to solder on a header is up to you entirely, but if you do, you'll of course have access to a wide variety of I.O and compatibility with add-on boards and Raspberry Pi hats. Whilst you will not be able to use the Zero with the Raspberry Pi camera or display, it does include an unpopulated pair of pins that will allow you to get composite video out. Therefore, you'll be able to use the new Pi with older televisions and screens. If you turn the board around, you'll find that apart from the logo, the back of the Raspberry Pi Zero is largely empty and flat. Perfect for embedding in projects. Now that we've taken a tour of the new hardware, Let's see how it performs. So here I've booted up Raspbian and plugged in a keyboard and mouse via the USB port on the Zero. Thanks to the one gigahertz processor and 512 megabytes of RAM, tasks felt nippy and the Pi responded quickly to pretty much everything I threw at it. Games such as Minecraft Pi ran smoothly and without a single glitch, whilst intensive applications such as Scratch performed beautifully. The three time power increase from the Raspberry Pi 1 was definitely noticeable. In case you are not aware, the Magpie is the community Raspberry Pi magazine, available worldwide. In a bold move never done before, a Raspberry Pi Zero will be given away for free on the front of issue 40 of every single Magpie. This hits all good news retailers on the 26th of November for just £5.99, and that means you'll get a 200 page magazine and a full computer for less than six pounds. I have been mightily impressed by the Raspberry Pi Zero. Its low price, impressive specs, and endless customizability are almost unbelievable. The fact that it is on sale for just four pounds means that computer science, programming, and electronics just got more accessible for the masses.
you can pick up your own Raspberry Pi Zero in the Magpie or online from retailers such as the Pi Hut. See the description below for all the information and links for where to buy both the board, as well as things such as the HDMI adapter, etc. I would highly recommend the Raspberry Pi Zero and cannot stress enough just how impressed I am with the hardware. That's all I have time for, but don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching, until next time. Bye.